So we've got some pretty interesting news about the upcoming Bleach anime. However, I didn't seem to think that this was the case, so this wasn't originally going to be a video. So, what is this about? Well, if you follow me on Twitter.com, you would have seen that I tweeted saying this. There will be a new Bleach logo for the Thousand Year Blood War anime. Now, the reason why I tweeted this was because I didn't seem to think that it was all that special. But boy, was I wrong. This tweet gained a lot of attention and a lot of hype for reasons that I honestly don't know. But before I go on further, keep watching because I also have some extra news as well. So anyway, upon reading the comments of this tweet, I guess it just seemed that people were happy to finally hear that there was progress and things were moving forward. In fact, in my last video talking about the production of Bleach, we discussed how considering what Kubo was referencing, that it could be presumed that we were in the final stages of pre-production. It seems that we, in fact, were correct. Kubo is in fact making a new logo for the Bleach Blood War anime and that can be implemented into an upcoming key visual, PV or in fact merchandising. So I do suppose it is quite significant when you think about it like that. Naturally I can imagine in the comments there's going to be a big discussion on what they would like the new logo to look like and honestly it is a big change for people to get used to. The Blood War arc well is dark and I guess in retrospect having a 2000s style colourful logo maybe isn't the best choice to represent that. But in saying that they have changed the Bleach logo in the Bleach movies before, like with Diamond Dust Rebellion, having that ice-like little transition go across it. But truth be told, I think the majority of you can agree that we would all like some bit of aspect of nostalgia within the logo itself or within the title. Um, so maybe an alternate version of like a completely new design as well as the nostalgia kind of molded together like a 50-50 type thing. Just throwing it out there, that's my personal opinion. However, regardless of what, I feel the audience will come to like it, if not instantly. I also suppose the question could be is, why would they do this? Will the title of the show change too? This, of course, is a difficult case-by-case -case basis. If you are, in fact, a new fan of me, you wouldn't really remember the old days of the Is Bleach Coming Back videos. But in one of those last videos that I talked about, I discuss about the licensing agreements and production committees. And this is relevant because this is, in fact, a new production committee with new and, in fact, old people involved. And this could be a way to differentiate these two shows. It could, in fact, be for licensing reasons, and splitting the two would be easier to negotiate in terms of, like, licensing, whether that's giving it to overseas buyers, for example. You know, if Netflix want the old series, they pay for the old series. If they want the new one, they pay for the new one, because, of course, both the value of those series are going to be different at the end of the day. Another reason could be for TV. Rerunning the Bleach episodes on Japanese TV and airing the new series could be confusing for the television audience. Nevertheless, what the reason is, what we can presume from all of this is that they are taking a very careful and smart approach and taking great steps to essentially start Bleach's production from the ground up. Everything is new and fresh while not abandoning the old product as well. They get to work closely with the old product while not limiting itself to the new project. It is difficult to explain and even assume in so much early stages of where we currently are at. So I'm interested to see more evidence of marketing later on so we get more information and see where this is heading and why things have been done the way that they have been. But wait! There is more news. Um, I've been a big advocate for saying that Bleach is not going to have a PV or a trailer within the anniversary being on the 7th of August. I'm a big advocate in that because things haven't moved and, you know, animation can take, you know, weeks if not months sometimes, even for a simple PV. However, with the new logo being made, you know, it's quite possible. It is quite possible we can get a key visual. Of course it is. Uh, that is at the at least I could say for that. Uh, and one of the leakers that I do speak to has um, told me that there is going to be something happening very soon. And because it's not very date specific, I'm going to assume that soon means the anniversary of Bleach on the 7th of August. So, you know, I, I expect something. I think at this point I expect something. I don't know what it is. It, it might not even be a key visual. It might not even be a PV. It could be nothing. It could be something else. It might not be an announcement, but it, it, apparently something's happening. So at least we have something to look forward to in regards to what I think maybe August is Bleach's anniversary on the 7th of August. So at least you've got something to look forward to and to keep your, your minds kind of occupied in the meantime. And of course, I'll talk about it on this channel. It, hopefully it's relevant enough for me to talk about it on this channel, but it will be on here. So that being said, I'm going to catch you guys later. You guys, of course, have this fine day. I've been handsome as always, people. Peace out.